Hey, welcome back to Crucible Arms. Today we're going to show you the quick down and dirty way to properly side in an AK weapon system. The whole idea being you have to forget everything that you think you know about aiming in an AR-15 or any other type of rifle. You don't sight an AK in anywhere near the same as you do with those platforms. So we're going to talk today about how simple this is because even a knuckle dragger like me can get this done. Those of you familiar with the M4, AR-15, M16 uh, platform understand that we tend to use minutes of angle or mil dots and we use minute of angle targets in order to properly sight in those weapon systems. The Russians, Soviets wanted to do something much simpler. They wanted to be able to have the basic infantryman with very few mathematical skills to be able to sight it in quickly and easily. And that's what this template is for. You see this template here, when I put it on my belt buckle here, you're getting center mass. You're getting what I call a minute of man. The other thing is slick about this is this is 9.84 inches across. At 100 meters, and that's important, this all has to be done in meters, not in yards, but at 100 meters, the front sight post will completely fill this particular space. So it's easy, again, for someone to just take the top post, make sure that it's lined up along the bottom here. If it's the proper width, they know that they're at 100 meters, and they can then proceed with the, with the uh, sight-in procedure. We're 100 meters away from our control target. Now what you have to do is make sure that your rear leaf is set to 300 meters. Yes, we're doing 100 meter zero, but you want to do that by setting the rear leaf at 300 meters. Unlike other platforms, the AK, all of the adjustments are done with the front post. So we're going to start with a three shot group aiming for the belt buckle, if you will, the bottom of the minute of man. And we're going to check and see where the actual point of impact is. All right, so here we go. So you can see I'm hitting high into the left. We're going to aim for the waist, but our point of impact is going to be 9.84 inches, or at about the 10-inch mark right there. So we're going to go back and adjust the sights because, again, we want to be at 9.84 inches, or nearly 10 inches, from the belt line, point of impact as opposed to point of aim. You do need a special tool to do AK sights. And I bought a uh, Magnumatic AKFST. It's a great tool. It's not cheap, but it's, it'll last you forever. Let's do another three round group here and see how we're doing. Hopefully we're good. Okay guys, we don't do any movie magic on uh, this channel. I'll show you how I shoot. So what I'm going to tell you is this is uh, the third flight since I last left you, if you will. And uh, this was the next flight that I shot. So right in here. So again, you know, they're all in the head, but obviously they're, I was aiming too high. My point of aim was too high. And then after that, my next uh, group was this down here, this one, and this one. So again kind of back in range kind of where I wanted it and now this is the last flight two here one off to the side that's clearly me obviously um, so I am rushing my shots I do have old eyes and it just is what it is but I'm very comfortable now between these last two groups which was again was here here and here and now these two and I'm ignoring that one I feel pretty good about where I'm at I am sitting right about 9.84 inches above the uh, belt line, which is where we want to be. So now what we can do is transfer this over to the steel target and I'll show you how it works. What I've done is I've changed the front leaf to 100 meters. So now the point of impact and the point of aim at 100 meters should be the same. So let's give this a rip.
So there you go, my friends. You can see where the point of aim is, is now matching the point of impact. This is a typical torso target. So that's heart lungs right where you want them. And that is at the 100 meter setting. So let's talk about the funny setting that a lot of people aren't sure what it's for. And that is either the D or sometimes it's designated as a P setting, which is basically when the leaf is all the way back. It's in the furthest uh, back setting. That's basically considered a battle setting. Again, the idea being that they wanted this to be very simple for people in the field. So if you didn't want to have to worry about 100, 200, 300 meters, what you can do in combat is the combat setting. You set it back there. If you aim for the waistline on your opponent uh, from one, two, 300 yards, you're going to hit minute of man and take them out of the fight. In order to do the same thing with your red dot, I'm using an RS Regulate uh, mounting system with a T1 micro uh, from Aimpoint on there. Uh, you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna slide it on and you're going to zero it at the belt line at 100 meters. And then uh, you can adjust accordingly as you start working your, walking your way back out. About 300 meters, you are gonna have to bring the point of aim up a little bit. Uh, but if you do the same thing with this that we just did, it's gonna work perfectly. Let's put it on here and shoot the steel and we'll show you. I look forward to seeing you next time and thanks for swinging by.